Hey, Leighton here, it's June the 6th. We are at the Brewer Gold Project in Jefferson, South Carolina. I'm with Dylan Reeser, one of our geotechs. The instrument on my back is to collect data for ground magnetics. We're trying to identify any magnetic anomalies in the ground. It's one of our four geophysical surveys. Together, the profiles and the maps that we produce will give us a much better picture of what's in the rocks underneath and where the best drill targets are. On the ground magnetics, we're running, we're walking <laughs> about 41 lines north and south across the entire Brewer property as well as outside of it on Jefferson Project land that PanCon leases. We do, we're probably going to do a total of 60 to 70 kilometers. Um, it's hard work. We're back deep in the woods. Um, one thing that's very exciting for me is that no new uh, modern geophysical data has been collected on the Brewer Gold Project or in this area for more than 20 years. So we're producing a very high quality baseline of data which will uh, benefit us as we proceed into the drilling part of our program. We just finished a great day of geophysics. We, today we walked two lines for a total of nine kilometers. We were collecting data with this uh, ground magnetics instrument, modern geophysical technology. We're producing an exquisite database of geophysical data to inform our drilling program. Today's lines, we went right across the former open pit, which in the late 80s and early 90s was where almost 180,000 ounces of gold was produced. It's since been filled in and reclaimed. Uh, there was a lot of thick brush uh, and deep forest we had to walk through today, but we saw some very interesting things and we collected some good data. All for now. Mm -hmm.